Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another tutorial. I'm actually going to use a piece of audio I recorded earlier to explain what this is all about. Okay, this is a demonstration on how to use compression on dialogue to make it sound more professional. Blue Peter Styley, there we go. So that's what all this is about. Now we've been learning about compression in class. Uh, compression, in my humble opinion, is the most important thing you can use on dialogue. And I'm gonna explain why with another demonstration. If I take this over now to Multitrack, as you see that I've put this piece of dialogue along with a piece of music. Give this a listen, there's no processing on this. Both are normalized to minus six as I've taught in previous tutorials, so they're both peaking at the same level. This is what happens. Okay, this is a demonstration on how to use compression on dialogue to make it sound more professional. So you can hear the dialogue, you can hear what they're saying, but it's annoying. It's basically you're fighting to hear it, and if you've watched um, even a couple of minutes of a program, maybe watch half an hour of a program, and that's what you've got to deal with. You've got to deal with this kind of dialogue, which is fighting with the rest of the sound. Well, I can hear you shouting at me, going, just turn the music down. Well, yeah, <laughs> that would help. That would help a lot. But I'm actually going to show you how compression can make this dialogue punch through this music without actually having to turn it down. And if you then apply this process and use the mix as well to get the balance right, you're going to have ultimately professional sound in your movie images and your media productions, whatever it is you're making. Let's go back to the editor, double click on that, and uh, we'll have a look at this waveform. So we can see that the loudest points this waveform here peaking at minus six. There it is, that bit there is the loudest bit. And a compressor, uh, it's exactly what it sounds like, it squashes the sound. So imagine you've got two plates that go either side of this waveform and it comes down, what's going to happen? Well, as the two plates come down, then these loud bits are going to get pushed down to the same level as the next loudest bits. But the rest stays untouched. That's what a compressor does. It just pushes, nudges down the loudest bits. Essentially, you're taking some of the soul and the natural nuances out of the dialogue. But if you do this right, it actually turns your dialogue into stronger, fatter, more steady production that just sounds professional and cuts through the mix. Let's put this theory then to the test, shall we? So let's find the compressor. There's various compressors in Audition. Uh, I'm going to use the one which you find uh, in Amplitude and Compression there, actually with Dynamics, because you can use it alongside other processes like Gate, which will get rid of some of the noise between signals if you need it. Uh, it's also got an expander limiter. Uh, I wouldn't use that though, too much because they're going to have quite drastic effects on your recordings. They're the kind of thing you use actually in your mastering more often than not. So but I'm going to use the compressor middle because it's look, it's only got five controls and they're laid out rather nicely. And you need to understand what these controls mean. Um, don't use a preset for compression because every single instance requires its own consideration of thought and settings. So before doing do anything, I've noticed that the makeup is already set to 6.4 decibels. That's going to push the level up afterwards. I'm going to get rid of that so it doesn't spoil the process and your understanding of it. Let's look at the rest of the parameters here. Well, let's switch it on, actually, shall we? Threshold. Well, we know what a threshold means in real life. It's a line that you step over, isn't it? It's something, you know, there's this side of it and there's that side of it. Well, the threshold is the point the compressor starts. There's the audio where there's no compression, and then it gets to a level where the compression starts, and that level is called the threshold. And you've got ratio, which is essentially how much you're going to compress by. It's called ratio because it goes on the basis of every number of decibels it goes over, it pushes back by another number of decibels, and it becomes like a percentage. So that's what's called ratio. But all you need to understand is that as you turn that up, you get more compression. Attack. Um, strange word, isn't it? But you get it a lot in audio technology. Attack it relates to the speed of the start of things. So in this case, it's the speed that the compressor kicks in. And you would have thought, well, kicking straight away, wouldn't you? Well, maybe not, because sometimes you want to allow some of the dynamics through before you compress. Dialogue is made up of two main elements, and that is the formants, the shape of the mouth, and the tone which is your voice box and the sound that comes out is what makes me sound like me and you sound like you. And the two together make voice and language. So sometimes you want the P's and the T's and the shape of the words to cut through more, but the tone, the duh, to be more controlled. And that's where the attack comes into play. If you have the attack to quick, i.e. 0.1 milliseconds, then you could end up with dialogue going, I'm really understanding what you're saying. All right. <laughs> I speak like that most of the time anyway, so hope you're keeping up. Um, 
release is how quick that the compressor switches off again after the audio falls below that threshold point and rule of thumb is you want the release to you want it to release as quickly as possible so that the compressor can then compress the next bit effectively one slight problem with this is that you've got to use your ears because sometimes when the compressor is kicking in out quickly and it's releasing and going on again you get this kind of sense that the audio the uncompressed audio is pumping through in between you get this kind of almost like rhythm to it if you get that increase the release um, happens more in music particularly things like recording bass guitar and that sort of thing sometimes desirable actually it's sometimes a really good effect so but typically have the release as quick as possible so here we go i've switched the compressor on uh, what will happen is that this red light here will move down these numbers here from 0 to minus 12 to minus 24 that's actually showing what's called gain reduction it's showing you at what points the um order has been nudged down the gain is being reduced and it's kind of giving an indication of how much by it's not a very clear meter some other compressors will give you more detail than that um, but let's have a look so at the moment i've got it set to threshold as minus 34.4 decibels so when the order reaches minus 34 which is somewhere way down here it's going to start compressing it's not going to compress by any of the moments we're not setting any ratio so let's set up um so yeah i've set ratio at three it doesn't really say three watt. I don't know whether it means that for every three it goes over. It means it's going to nudge it back by one. It might be that. But uh, there we are. It's not very clear. But as I say, the higher you go, the more compression you're going to apply. The more you're going to push it down. Attack. So how quickly it's coming in. Well, I want to capture some of the formants of my dialogue so I don't sound like I'm like m -m -m -m, not opening my mouth. So I'm going to give it a few milliseconds. Let's try four milliseconds. I'm going to leave the release on 50. You're not snapping so quickly that you get a kind of this clicking sound. Um, I'm going to leave the makeup on zero for now because I want you to hear the difference. It's going to sound quieter. Let's just run it through first okay, of all. This is a demonstration on how to use compression. Can you see all that game reduction? To make it sound more professional. There it is without. Okay, this is a demonstration on how to use compression on dialogue. There it to is make with. It sound more professional. Okay, this is so it sounds like it's got quieter. It has, but the only things that have got quieter are the loud bits. <laughs> right? It's actually compressing quite a bit, but it's too much. Let's take um, the threshold up a bit so it's being a bit more subtle with the compression. The demonstration on how to use compression on dialogue to make it sound more professional. Okay, this is a demonstration on how to use compression on dialogue to make it sound more professional right so i'll be listening to this and i don't know what you think but i can still hear the shape of the words i can hear all those formants so all the consonants and the and the shape of my mouth quite clearly so i think i've got the attack in the right place the release is only 15 milliseconds really quick but i'm not getting any kind of pumping sound or clicking sound so that's okay um this is sounding good it's just sounding a little quieter i'll show you again look okay this with is a compressor. demonstration on how to use compression without compressor on dialogue to make it sound more professional. with compressor Okay, this is a demonstration on how to use compression. So, it's made it quieter, but it's made it more steady away. Um, that in itself isn't going to help me very much. But we've got this last control down here called makeup, which is basically make up the gain that you've lost. Now, if I had a better meter here, I could do this exactly mathematically. But I'm going to kind of guess here. So if that's naught and that's minus 12, we're peaking somewhere around here. What's that, minus 8, maybe? So if I turn this up by 8 decibels, I should replace what I've lost... And technically what's happening now is that the quieter bits are now louder and the loudest bits to where they were. So you're going to end up with less dynamics but everything a lot stronger. Let's see if that's worked. On dialogue to make it sound more professional. Okay, this is a demonstration Without. on how to use compression on dialogue to make it sound more professional. Okay, this is and a this demonstration is on how to use compression on dialogue to make it sound more professional. It's quite subtle, but can you hear that just the tone is stronger? It's almost like I'm saying it all a bit louder but without changing my stance or my attitude or my approach. I'm still saying it in the same way. It's just sounding stronger. I'm going to apply this and let's have a look at what it looks like in the waveform. And then we're going to test it against the music. Okay, waveform wise, these middle bits here are just all stronger. Right? They're all a bit wider. So that will have changed it in the multitrack project because they interrelate. Um, what I've done is because I've double clicked in multitrack, it's gone into the edit mode to edit that bit of audio. And when you apply it, it 
pops it back into the multi-track for you. So let's go back to multi-track and we've now got the compressed audio with the music. Let's see what these two sound like together now. Okay, this is a demonstration on how to use compression on dialogue to make it sound more professional. Right, so it's fighting a lot less now. I mean, it isn't right. You, those of you who shout at me start going, just use the mixer. You're right. That means it's too loud for that dialogue. But that dialogue is now a lot stronger. And just with a little bit of a, uh, a mix, let's go and find the mixer. Take the music down a bit. That might be too much. Let's try that. OK, this is a demonstration on how to use compression on dialogue to make it sound more professional. Yeah, it's, it's just cutting through miles better. So... Look, that's my demonstration on how to use compression along with why you should use it. In my opinion, if you're making a film, an animation, a podcast, never release it without applying some kind of like subtle compression to the dialogue. You just won't sound professional. All right. And as I said before, don't use presets. Use your knowledge to move all those parameters to suit your particular dialogue. All right. Because every single instance is different. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope that's useful. Catch up with you next time. Ta-ra for now.